to a brand new series on my channel which you've probably already guessed is going to see me play three random PC Engine games in each episode. And the reason for this series is because I've just recently picked up a cheap EverDrive clone for the PC Engine from AliExpress. It cost me about £25. That's fully loaded with all the PC Engine game library. So this gives me an opportunity to explore all those games without having to spend a load of money. So I've made a short list of games, although it's not particularly short because it's roughly 150 games for the PC Engine. A mixture of original games, some of them exclusives of course, and also some arcade conversions of games that I'm not that familiar with. And what I'm going to be doing in each episode is using the wheel of names on the internet to pick three of those games at random. The only caveat being that they can't be the same genre, so I'm not going to be looking at three shoot 'em ups or three platform games. I'm going to try and cover a mixture of games in each episode. And what I'm going to do is play each game for either 10 minutes or one credit, depending which end sooner. So right now let's spin the wheel for the first time and see what game comes out first. And here it goes and what comes out is Psycho Chaser which I believe is a shoot 'em up so I'll load that up from the SD card and we'll take a look at Psycho Chaser. Right then, so here's the title screen, looks pretty decent, it's got a biomechanical sort of Geiger-esque look to it, nice logo, it says press the run button, so let's see what happens. Okay, so we've now got to choose some kind of fire levels. Oh, no, I've just started the game now. Uh, I, I think they're all basically at the bottom level anyway. Okay, so I'm what looks like Robocop running at the bottom of the screen, got some very big enemies to shoot, there's some power-ups to pick up and uh, one of the buttons fires and the other one doesn't do anything. Oh, oh, okay, that changes my weapon type because it, it, well, on, there it goes alive. So just to be clear on what the rules are for these games, I'm going to be playing it for 10 minutes or until I lose all my lives. So it's basically one credit or 10 minutes. You can't alter any of these things. You just try pressing the select button. No, no, can't change any of those things. Uh, so let's go again. So yeah, the uh, the second button changed my weapon type, so that was a bit of a surprise and I ended up losing a life as a result of that. So I'll just stick with the one I've got for now. Oh, I've got rockets now, that looks good, yeah. Nice big sprites. Uh, some pretty decent graphics all around I would say. It's, it's a bit of weird, it's a run and gun, but it's a permanently scrolling run and gun and there goes another life. Luckily I've got five lives. Um, yeah, you definitely can't change any of those options. They're all just set to that lower level. So let's try again, see if I can get a bit further. Seems to have pretty nice tune in the background, decent enough sound effects. I say nice big sprites on the graphics. The guy moves quite slowly, uh, which is a bit of a problem. That's why I've got hit several times already. Let's just stick to this one side. Oh no, they're going to come across at me. So it's one hit and you die as well. I want to change these weapons, but I daren't at the moment. Let's change it now. So that one's shooting in multiple directions. Getting a bit further this time. That one shoots to the sides, which is quite useful for these enemies, although I've run into a bullet again. Oh dear. Uh, this one credit's not going to last very long. It's possible I might break my rules on the very first occasion and play another credit, just because I don't think I've even used like two minutes of time yet. And I would like to have a pretty decent look at it and, and see if I can get to a boss. Yeah, the big problem is he moves really slowly. And I'm surprised some of the power-ups aren't a speed power-up, because that's usually what you get quite early on in these kind of games. Oh, some bits of scenery you can't walk past, I've just discovered. Uh, and... Yeah, I mean, the background's very bland, it's just a, a grey bit of ground. But the uh, the sprites are nicely coloured. Right, let's try some of these different weapons again here. This must be useful for the ones behind. That one's to the side, that one's a homing one. Right, I like this one best at the moment. But being at the top of the screen's a bad idea though. Yeah, so clearly you've got to switch between weapons quite... Oh, here we go, we've got a boss. It's some kind of spidery thing. Clearly, oh, and there goes, <laughs> I got a shot. Okay. Yeah, so obviously you have to switch between weapons um, quite quickly in places to, to have the right weapon to take on the enemies that are coming towards you. It was a very short level. 
I'm on my last life now it's not gone hugely well <laughs> there we go that's a life gone how much time have I spent let me just check my time that I started four minutes go on let's give it another go yeah I'll continue let's call let's call this my last credit if I don't get any further on this one then that'll be the lot So let's say a slight change to the rules, if, if I only last 5 minutes on one credit I'll have another go and let the timer carry on. Any more than that and I will just call it quits. Because I want to get through these games quite quickly and just see if they're interesting. Uh, I might then play them again in a future video of a different type. But this is just about quickly getting through my PC Engine collection to see what's in it basically. Now that I've got this uh, multi -court. main weapon is very powerful and that's what he keep, seems to keep powering up most of the time I think uh, and that's definitely the best one to keep with so I'm back to the boss again let's see if we can do better than last time oh there we go he's dead oh that was just a mid boss yeah, just avoiding the bullets and just firing straight at him was easy enough. I didn't need to switch weapons for that. Please tell me that's a speed up. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's a speed up. Now I'm moving a bit faster. There's also suddenly a lot of bullets on the screen. Oh, and there it goes alive. Hopefully I'll just go back to the checkpoint here. This screen's really strange. I don't know what's going on with it. Clearly you can level those up somehow. Oh yeah, it's, it's got a checkpoint. But yeah, suddenly there's a lot of enemies on screen here and I don't know what the best weapon to tackle those is but the sideways one, strangely enough, seems to be quite useful. Uh oh, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, this is going really badly. This is what happens when you choose to play a game without ever having played it before. This is what it usually looks like. Because most of my videos, I try and play the games a few times before I actually do the video so that I've got some idea of what's going on. So this is a new thing for me, just playing things for the first time on video, for the, for the most part. I don't do that very often. So, uh, oh no, I got stuck behind that tank. I didn't even notice that until it was too late. Oh yeah, the ground-based things that you can't get around are annoying as well. Uh, yeah, so not hugely impressed with this game, I have to say. Um, graphically, it's quite nice. It's a bit of an interesting concept with having your guy permanently running along not too many games do that so it does stand out a little bit because of that but um, the background graphics are quite dull and uh, yeah it's pretty hard and there goes another life it's, even with the speed up it's hard to manoeuvre everything's really big and so is your guy so it's really hard to move and move everything is quite hard to get around the screen uh, so this is my last life and this will be the last time I play this game I'm not going to continue again Oh, what a lot of... I'm so slow. So many bullets flying around all of a sudden. Oh no, and I've run into another one and that's it. That's game over. So there we go. That was Psycho Chaser, which doesn't look too bad, but is really quite difficult, I would say. Nicely presented in terms of the title screen and the graphics. Sound was okay. Uh, backgrounds were really dull. So yeah, that's one game done. Let's now move on and choose another one at random. Okay, so the wheel's spinning again, and this time I'm going to be playing Genpei Tumaden, uh, which I think is an arcade game. I think it's a Namco game, so let's fire that one up. Okay, so we've gone into a a track mode or demo mode, I've got a little samurai guy running across the bottom of the screen so it's some kind of hack and slash beat em up kind of game by the looks of it. Let's have a look at the title screen, uh, it just says push the run button, have we got any options on this one? No looks like we're going straight in so let's start the timer again. 10 minutes or 1 credit or 2 credits if I die really quickly. Let's see what happens. Well here I am, it's a very poorly detailed sprite it has to be said. I say I think this is an arcade game, it's a pretty obscure one 
never played it before. Oh no, I can't kill him. As I can jump, I can. I've got a uh, kind of hack and slash move, although it won't kill the skeletons. No, that's bad. Uh, where's my health? Have I got health, or have I just lost all my lives? So I can slash. I can fire. I can jump. Sorry. Yeah. I don't, oh, there's some kind of thing that happens when you uh, when you're in the air or something. I push down. No. Right. Okay. Let's get past this guy. I can definitely kill those spidery things. There's some kind of scroll there. And another, there's a lot of, there's a junk dropping from the top of the screen. What is going on here? <laughs> oh, I can walk on those skeletons by the looks of it. Is it me or does this seem a bit broken? I don't know, it doesn't, doesn't really look to me like it's quite right. And I think that's game over. Wow, that, oh is that a life gone? I'm not sure. I don't know, this doesn't look quite finished to me. This looks like there's some graphics missing. There's definitely things... There should be some backgrounds there at all. I think this is a bit of a corrupt ROM by the looks of it. Okay, so I can jump on top of those skeletons. This can't be right. It looks really crap. Nothing would have a background like that in a PC Engine game. And the, the, the ROMs... The, uh, the main character's really, like, bland. So, uh, yeah, I think this the ROM's probably a bit naff on this one. And the graphics haven't aren't quite right but uh, I'll carry on anyway because well why not there's no way those um, spiders web should just be in mid-air it hasn't rendered the background graphics or something I don't know what you're supposed to do here it's just crazy there's all kinds of stuff going on yeah it's definitely not looking right again this is the problem you get when you just load a game where without checking what it's like first but this is definitely, there goes another life. Yeah, this all just looks a mess. I don't even know if, if that was another life, or I guess it is because it's not going back to the title screen. So that, yeah, I've, the candles are health then. But this this almost looks like a, like a prototype version or something, I don't know. Something's not right about it, but I'm getting absolutely nowhere, that's for sure. keep running you can definitely destroy a lot of things but also there's a lot of things hitting you Oop, like that thing what on earth and there goes another life no oh something different happening okay all oh, right so now I've become a big I've entered some kind of gate and I've become a big samurai who looks for much better in terms of the graphics but the backgrounds are still knackered this is definitely not working right. I shall carry on though. I will be playing it again once I've lost all my credits, that's for sure. It seems a bit dull. And not, maybe it's because I can't see the backgrounds properly. That it looks... Uh, I mean, it, it feels like it's hard. But maybe there's things in the backgrounds that are giving me more pointers to what's going on. But it literally just seems to be run from side to side. Oh, hello, Mr. Skeleton. Uh, and... And slash things and then run further oh I've got him he died sort of now what's happening something happened am I dead did he kill me did I kill him I'm back in this level so I'm guessing he killed me and I'm trying again just the way he's swinging the sword like holding it down by his side and then like lowering it down and then slashing it up it seems really inefficient hard to comment on the graphics on this one since they're clearly not right uh, and sound wise it's got some japanese sounding music in the background seems okay yeah okay oh, okay so maybe I should just try and jump over him I like the sort of animation on, on his two legs that's kind of separate when you jump there oh back through the gate something happened I'm going somewhere else now on the map Oh, now I'm on a top-down view. Well, wow, just as if things couldn't get more different. The, the now I've got so you've got side-scrolling little sprite, side-scrolling big sprite, and also now uh, top-down view. But I can't get over there, so there's probably something missing again. This is quite a bizarre game. 
uh, and not very interesting it has to be said. I'm probably missing a bit, possibly because of the knackered graphics. This stage doesn't look too bad graphically, maybe maybe it's okay, but uh, yeah. There goes another life. Now what? <laughs> it never ends. Yeah, I'm on the top down bit again. That's not something to pick up, that is though. So there's like skeleton dogs on this level. There's, there's definitely a chest to open there. I've picked up something. Oh, I can jump even on this level as well. I haven't even tried jumping. What am I supposed to be doing though? I guess just making my way through it as best I can. How do I get past this thing? With difficulty, I'm thinking. Yeah, just run past it is probably the best option. Oh dear. What can you say? It's it's just not very good. <laughs> this is what I'm getting from it. I'm probably uh, not getting the best out of it, but it, it's, yeah. <laughs> Everything just seems to be zero at the top the whole time. Lives, score. What is it? This must be some kind of weird prototype version or something because you never get any score, I don't think. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. And you seem to get an infinite number of lives and um, never seem to get, get... Oh yes, I guess you are getting score because the numbers... Things are changing to all the sort of Japanese characters, kanji characters. So I'm getting a score of some kind, I guess. Um, I just really don't know what's going on. Oh, there's another gate there, so I'm going to go back to another... There we go, I've moved on to another level now. Okay, back to big guy, and the background graphics look better on this one. Not much better. But at least they're there. Wow, there's some big tigers there. I mean, it's quite interesting that they've got three different styles of gameplay, although pretty much everything's just run from left to right and hammer the fire button and hope for the best it seems. I'm probably missing a bit of subtlety from it. There's obviously loads of power-ups to pick up, none of which do much for very long. And I'm... no, oh, see it? Oh, okay, I must have reached some kind of a boss there because he had health as well as me then. My health moved to the middle. And again, on it goes. Clearly, I'm going to reach the 10 minute time limit on this one. I'm kind of sad because I think I'd rather just run out of lives by now. It's uh, it's pretty dull and yeah, not much more to say about it really. Just run and hack and run and hack and run and hack and jump and hack and jump and run. You nearly got him, there we go, I've got him. There we go, that's another level completed. Defeated some kind of boss. The graphical characters on the top are going all over the place. And away we go on another stage. Oh, back to little tiny guy now. Well, now I think that those graphics weren't faulty on the main player sprite because now the backgrounds look fine and he still looks like crap. So, I don't know. It's just hacking a load of wild boars in the face at the moment. Oh, watch out for those things. Can I jump on those? No. How are you supposed to get past them? Just hack away at them? No. Can you get up to a faster speed when you're running? I have no idea. Oh, we've got a bit of change of background color. And there goes another lie. Oh. Yeah. hit that? No, I don't know what's going on, I really don't. <laughs> uh, I hit the... oh, well my 10 minutes has just run out, what a shame. What can I say about that? Uh, I think it's a bit broken, uh, but also the gameplay is still intact, um, unless I'm missing something and it's really quite dull. It's run from left to right, 
smash stuff, hit stuff with your sword, try not to get squashed and beaten up and then do it again but in a slightly different sort of scenario either top down or with a bigger version of your sprite. That will do for that one, let's now move on to the third random game of this episode. So let's spin the wheel one last time for this episode. And the final game I'm going to be playing is Delivery Boy, or to give it its Japanese name, Katobi Takuhai-kun, or something like that. So I'll load that up now. Here we go then, this game is created or presented by Tonkin House, what a great name for a company that is. And we get a little motorbike going across the screen and some text which is all in Japanese. Uh, starts written in English, so at least that's something. Uh, so yeah, let's give it a go. Press the run button. Oh, is it going to go straight into the game? No, we've got a load of Japanese text that I can't read. Uh, so I'm going to start the timer anyway. 10 minutes playing Delivery Boy. Let's see how it goes. So lots of Japanese text. I've got a choice of two options. I've got what looks like a pedal bike or a moped. So I'm going to pick the moped. And it's got power 100 of 100, damage 100 of 100. Two options. I believe they're probably yes or no. So let's go with the top one and assume that's yes. Asking me another question, don't know what you're asking me. More Japanese text, more Japanese text. <laughs> wow, okay, okay, here we go, we're, we're off. Okay, so top down view. Okay, I can, I've got D pads rotating the uh, motorbike, and the number two button is making me drive, and the number one button doesn't seem to do anything at the moment so what have I got to do here got some traffic lights there no oh, I've crashed into someone oh dear something's happening they're not very happy I mean they crashed into me there surely no she's back again I don't know what's going on now okay I mean she's literally just driving backwards and forwards across the street trying to crash into me yeah go away okay so that's a dead end is that a dead end or is that a tunnel no that's a dead end so, I mean, I'm a delivery boy, so I guess I've got to drive around and find, oh, uh, not some trucks. Okay, there's an inn here, so let's see what I can get in here. I assume we've got to go and find something to deliver from somewhere. Well, it's quite hard to control. It's sort of rotational, but it's not, you have to point it in the direction you want to go, and then you rotate around. So it says go in there, but I can't work out how to go in. It appears I can't at the moment, and that's a dead end as well. Okay, oh dear. Top down view reminds me a bit oh, of uh, Grand Theft Auto, the original Grand Theft Auto before it went 3D. There's an ambulance going past. There's not a lot going on in this uh, city right now. Oh, I've been crashed into by a policeman now. Uh, there's some money involved there, 300,000 yen I guess. I've lost some money. That's not fair. He crashed into me. So I've I've been busted by the police for being in the way when they crashed into me. Seems slightly unfair. Oh, oh that's not good. Oh, I pick, did I pick a power up there? I'm not sure. What's this person want? Let's see if we can. Okay, they're asking me something. No, that's gone now. The opportunity to talk to them is gone. What about this guy here? Well, he's saying something, but I don't know what he's saying. Uh, this one's going to be hard work, I think. I mean, I was presume somewhere around this city is someone who wants something delivering, and then I've got to pick it up and deliver it to wherever they want it to. All there really seems to be is annoying traffic at the moment. So, what's that? Is that a manhole? Or is that something to pick up? It's a manhole. I've fallen off my bike. Oh, and again. Lord. Let's head over here. I think I've been over here already. Maybe not. There's lots of numbers. I feel like those numbers probably mean something. What, why is everything trying to crash into me? Let's try around the top here. It's quite a nice uh, play area. Oh, time over. Okay. <laughs> Uh, no idea. Mission miss. I don't know what my mission was. I don't know what I was supposed to do. I don't know if I was supposed to pick something up or what, but let's try again because it looks like I get three lives. Um, for for d difference, I'll, I'll pick the bike 
the push bike instead of the um, the moped this time yeah lots of text again okay it says one amongst all that text I'm gonna assume I have to go to point one this time on my bicycle right let's give it a go straight away I'm about to get run over um, so where is number one yeah much slower much slower on the push bike that's for sure uh, graphics are quite nice quite neatly drawn sort of overhead view style graphics okay there's number four um, the animation on the bike is quite nice and everything um, some jolly sort of inoffensive music in the background as well uh, but yeah I've really got no idea oh dear I've got no idea what I'm supposed to be doing in this game oh same thing again it's just not fair okay where was number one it was up near the top somewhere I think I probably have to go somewhere across the other side of the game again just stop I intentionally riding into me what an annoying game obviously if I could speak or read Japanese this might be a little bit less challenging uh, okay so there's number one is it there have I got to pick it up from there is that a post box pressing the buttons nothing's really happening uh, maybe I've got to drive into there Ooh. seemingly not nope I've got no idea what's going on I mean that's number one so I don't know what I'm supposed to do Let's try and go around the other side of it but I think uh, I've still got two lives left and quite a bit of time but I don't think there's anything I can do with this one um, this is the problem with picking games at random some of, the game, some of the games are just not going to be very easy to play okay there's number ones all over the place here so let's have a look along the bottom here and see maybe pick up from this bit instead oh god oh well something happened then something bleeped but it's really not obvious whether I've picked anything up or not I'm running out of time as well pick it up from here maybe the number one had nothing to do with anything uh, okay let's try up to the top yeah I've got no idea uh, I think I'll probably just call it when I run out of lives on this one yeah there's ones everywhere so I don't know where I'm supposed to go I've got nine seconds left is it this person they said a lot to me but I don't think I picked anything up and I don't know where I'd go with it even if I did so how much time I've got left on my timer two and a half minutes I'll just have another quick drive around while I wrap up this episode which has been a bit of a damp squib to start things I would say um, the first game Psycho Chaser not too bad reasonable shooter but really hard uh, and the other two games uh, Genpei Tumard and however you say it which is uh, translates as Samurai Ghost I think uh, that was quite boring and this one I just don't know what I'm doing so pretty naff start to things so I'll play for another two minutes if you've ever played any of these games and you know how to play them and, and can tell me a bit more about them in case I want to go back to them at any point which I don't think I do uh, then let me know in the video comments uh, and also yeah um, your thoughts on the three games if you've never seen them before let me know what you think of them I suppose and yeah I just I can't see anything anywhere it's, it's quite pleasant driving around all these streets but there's a lot of things that want to kill you look at this truck and the person, woman on the bike again yeah just frustrating and obviously oh there's someone waving oh no they're all waving I was going to say there's a guy waving by a uh, so you say something to him he's obviously saying something making a difference which buttons you press no I've got no idea it's pretty much over this video um, yeah as I say not the best selection of games but that's the problem when you pick games at random some of them are going to be terrible and in this case none of them were particularly good so uh, there's only a minute or so left so I'll just wrap things up because I'm not going to get any further clearly uh, so those are the three games 
if you like the look of any of them and you want to play them yourself then uh, good luck to you I would say because they were all not great to be fair so thanks very much for watching this video I will do another one at some point in the future I'm not sure exactly when but I'm gradually going to work my way through about 150 PlayStation, PlayStation? PC Engine games um, obviously I won't get through all of them doing these videos but I will play some of them uh, on video and see what they're like so thanks very much for watching the video as I said and I'll be back with something hopefully a little bit more entertaining than this in the near future see you later